Hello friends, welcome to our channel. Today we will discuss air adjustment. So what is exactly air adjustment and what's the business purpose of air adjustment? So let us start. you can see air invoice adjustment it's an air adjustment is a transaction that applies a debit or credit in order to modify the amount owned by customer so adjustment is nothing but adjusting a invoice amount customer invoice amount so there can be various reason you can uh, apply uh, an adjustment like tax adjustment like any tax components or freight components you want to adjust that you can do through this adjustment transaction or there can be any bad debt customer is not able to pay and uh, any line amount you want to adjust for an invoice so that you can do through an adjustment transaction the whole purpose is that any open amount which uh, ultimately you don't want to get from the customer i and uh, you should not able to it should not be appear in any aging report air invoice aging report and you want to close that customer account through some adjustment that also you can fulfill through adjustment transaction okay so how we can do this so let us uh, go to the system and see receivable so i have one transaction this is the transactions and uh, let me query this transaction This transaction amount is twelve hundred, and we want to make an adjustment transaction of two hundred. Okay, so customer need to pay one thousand, but we have billed uh, one thousand and uh, sorry, we have billed the customer twelve hundred, and but the ultimate amount should be one thousand. So we'll make an invoice adjustment of two hundred. So how we can do that? so as we have to create one adjustment activity so adjustment activity what it will do it will uh, apply to the invoice and create or generate the related accounting entries for the adjustment transaction so let us create one uh, adjustment activity go to setup and maintenance okay so here uh, if i go to here and receivable activity okay from financial setup you can go to air uh, functional area and select the tax manage receivable activity so create one uh, adjustment activity business unit for business unit 1 us 1 So this is one adjustment we are creating. Test. Okay. So for the adjustments, we have to mention one activity GL account. Okay. So here. the adjustment activity type you have to mention here that that is very important like you can see a lot of uh, adjustment type so each of the adjustment type has different purpose to fulfill so here our case we have to adjust one invoice 
So give the air uh, account here, the adjustment activity GL account. Okay, save. Save and close line adjustment. So we have created the adjustment activity. Now go to transaction billing. So this is your transaction where uh, we want to apply some adjustment. Okay, so go to action and here manage adjustment. So let us see. Adjustment receivable activity. So we have created this adjustment, line adjustment. So adjustment type, line adjustment. How much you want to adjust? 200. The total amount of the invoice is 1200 and uh, the adjustment we are doing for 200. So submit adjustment region is discount. Okay. So customer we are giving 200 discount. So customer Finally, the customer has to pay 1000. Submit. So here you can get the message. You don't have the adjustment approval limit defined. So now adjustment transaction is created. So now what is your next setup? Define the approval limit for the adjustment. So we have not defined approval limit for an adjustment. That's why we are getting this message. So any user who is performing any adjustment or applying any adjustment against any air invoice, the user should have the proper approval limit to this do this transaction, adjustment transaction. So either the user or it should any other user who has the uh, approval limit for the adjustment only can approve this adjustment. So what we can do, we can uh, go to the setup and maintenance and create approval limit for this user. Okay. Click and done. So we'll log into another user and set up approval limit for this particular user. So why I logged into another user because the same user cannot set approval limit for his own user account. So setup and maintenance go to financial receivable. Manage the receivable, sorry. Go to the setup tax, manage approval limit. And uh, here, click an add button and set up the adjustment. So, what is the username? So, my, my username is Sas IMPL. Or and, and the user display name is Srini Mohan. And uh, the document the document type uh, we have to select here is adjustment. Currency is USD because we are creating adjustment for US one business unit. Approval limit, for example, minus one thousand. Plus 
से so now we have created adjustment limit now log out of this user and uh, log into the sas imp so now go to here query the transaction manage transaction transaction number is 6467 65 and now we'll see if the adjustment is approved or not because we have assigned the approval limit for this issue and we can see the adjustment status so now we can see the adjustment is approved and uh, if you go to action and uh, view balance detail uh, you can see the original invoice amount is 1200 and uh, you can see here the adjustment minus 200 is applied here and the balance amount the customer has to pay now is 1000 okay uh, if you go to manage view transaction activities you can see the adjustment is applied 5144 adjustment and status is approved in that way you can manage the adjustment and uh, apply negative or positive adjustment based on uh, different requirement like tax adjustment freight adjustment line adjustment or any bad debt adjustment uh, i hope you understand this concept subscribe to our channel to get the latest update thank you guys